Well, well, well. Got some bad news for you, my dearie. Consider me and your man a couple. I'm officially pregnant. Uh, what? Wait, what? Who is this? Who am I? I, why, I'm your husband's girlfriend. Nice to meet ya. My husband. Wait, how do you know my husband? Are you trying to tell me he's been cheating on me? I already told you how I know your husband, didn't I? We're dating. Engaged, even. Seriously? I don't believe you. He's already promised we'll get married. I see a divorce in your future. It can't be true. Wait, I need proof. I'm not just going to get upset over this without you proving it first. How do I know you're really with my husband? Ah, don't be a difficult old cow. Old cow. I'm his new and better girlfriend. Show me some respect. Considering what you're claiming is going on, I'd show me some respect if I were you. You will regret it. I can promise you that. Ooh, I'm so scared. The grandma's gonna hurt me. Whatever. I'm gonna talk with my husband. I'm not jumping to any conclusions until I hear it from him. You don't need to talk to him, but whatever. Besides, how do you think I got your number? I wouldn't know it if I didn't have a relationship with him, right? That does make sense, unfortunately. If you just use your brain, you'd realize that. I suppose it's going senile. <laughs> That's why I'll be borrowing your husband. No, stealing him. He needs someone better. You need to stop insulting me. I'm not even old. Well, you're certainly older than me. Also, I'm smarter, cuter. There's no downsides for him. <laughs> why would he stay with an older, dumber woman like you? You realize I'm only 27, right? That's basically ancient. I'm only 20 years old. I'm the perfect age. I could tell you were younger, but 20? At that age, you're probably still in school, right? Shouldn't you be focused on college or something? Yes, ma'am. I'm a young, beautiful college girl with a nice man. You jealous? You must be jealous. There's no way you're not jealous. I feel a bit ill, if that counts. Sure does. Must be the jealousy in your stomach. You can think that if you want. Whatever shuts you up. I need answers. Where did you guys meet? You and my husband, I mean. Oh, you want to know our love story? Sure thing. It was a beautiful love at first sight story. We met in the schoolyard. Seriously? So you were probably in his class, right? And you somehow got the professor... Yes, ma'am. You're smarter than I thought. Good job. What the heck is that idiot thinking? Mingling with his students like that. Oh, it's not his fault. I'm just so charming, you know? <laughs> I basically hypnotized him. You said you got my phone number from his phone. Does he know you got that? Does he even know you're talking to me right now? Nope. He has no idea. He's sleeping next to me right now, actually. He's fast asleep by my side. I just went right over and grabbed it off his desk. He's asleep. He's supposed to be at work right now. Unbelievable. I should have known. He's been away on a business trip for a week now. What would he even need to go on a trip for as a professor? I'm an idiot for trusting him. I guess he was just taking time off to see you, huh? You really fell for that? You must be a huge idiot then. <laughs> I said he should have told you there is a field trip. Or maybe he needed extra time to grade the final essays. But I guess his stupid lie worked too. <laughs> it's a pretty big and esteemed university, okay? It made sense that he'd need to travel to help out the other departments in other states. I wanted to believe him, okay? He's my husband for crying out loud. Oh, well. Now that I'm here, I suggest you treat me like I deserve. I'm on top now. I could easily defeat an old hag like you. Your brain is practically mush at this point. <laughs>
You have no right calling me an old hag. Knock it off. Uh-oh. She's upset. Oh, no, I'm scared. The old lady's getting mad. Must be the menopause now. You're really starting to piss me off. Where are you two right now? I'm with your lovely, gorgeous man, of course. We're on a vacation in Hawaii. What? Hawaii? How on earth did he get money for a trip to Hawaii, of all places? Well, it's my birthday tomorrow, so this was my little treat for us to celebrate together. He told me he's been saving up for a long time now. He had some savings put aside that you didn't know about. Are you serious? My birthday was last month. You want to know what happened? He said he was short on money and just bought me a single rose. Oh, you serious? Oh, that is priceless. Poor little you. I guess we know which one of us he likes better then. You've got some nerve, you know that? Not only dating someone who's already married, but contacting me as well? Just to brag about it? No, don't flatter yourself. <laughs> I wouldn't talk to you just because of that. Don't you remember? I came here to tell you I'm pregnant. You did say that. I was just so shocked by the whole thing, I guess. I forgot that part. So you want to know why I'm here because of that, right? Well, I want you to give me $8,000. What? It'll go to a good home, don't worry. I need some new designer bags. <laughs> and why would I give you money exactly? I'm the victim here. I owe you nothing. Victim? Oh, don't be an idiot. I'm the victim here. After all, I'm his student now. A poor little student who's pregnant because of her teacher. Is that right? Well, technically, I guess it should be my beautiful darling who will pay it, no? But I couldn't do that to him. I'd feel so bad. So I'm taking it from you instead. <laughs> How does that make any sense? Well, you two are married still. It's your job to help him and take care of him through sickness and health. So, of course, that includes this money you guys owe me. You see what I mean? I mean, I see, but none of this makes any sense still. Oh, last thing. Don't tell him about this little talk we've had, okay? If you tell, you'll regret it. I can promise you that. What exactly do you mean by regret it? Well, I'll double the money. I'll be asking for $16,000 instead. This entire thing is just moronic. All right, that's all settled then. I'll send you my address so you can pay the money. I expect you at my door the day we come back from vacation, all right? My name is Selena, and I'm 27 years old. About two years ago, I married my husband, Anthony, who was 31 years old. Almost right after our wedding, he lost his father, unfortunately. Unwilling to leave his mother alone, the three of us now live together in his family home. And it was during that time I received this message from Ruby. I had never expected something like this to happen. My husband and I are very close, inseparable in fact. I never suspected anything throughout his entire affair. It came so out of the blue. I'm currently working as a nurse. Because of this, I work a lot of night shifts and rarely have time at home to relax. I suppose he has been using this to his advantage and going behind my back. But even worse, it's not even a full-grown woman, but a little college student. And he even got her pregnant. I felt completely betrayed. It's like he came over and just pulled my heart right out of my chest. But then, something else happened. I was starting to feel the anger from everything that happened. I was seeing red. How could they do this to me? And that was when Ruby came back. Back to taunt me again. Hello again. It appears to be that time, my dear. We're back from our lovely vacation. Hawaii was great. I think it's time you pay up, no? You think so? My lovey-dovey man said you're probably off today, right? And that you're getting groceries and running errands right now? Is Anthony seriously telling you about my work schedule now? Is there anything he hasn't told you? Hey, it's not my fault. We need the money now. We spent the rest of it while on our trip. I don't really want to see you, so be a dear and just transfer it into his bank account, okay? 
Look, I'm busy right now. I'm completely loaded with work right now. I don't even have time to sit down. I don't have time to entertain this right now. Oh, you're avoiding it. You can run away all you'd like. It won't change the facts. Facts? You're delusional. Nothing is happening like you say it will. Just hurry up and pee up. I'm out of spending money. I not so respectfully decline. You think you can just say no to me? Even Anthony is on my side, you know. What? You don't live in your own place, right? You live with my darling and his mother. So what do you think will happen if you don't listen, huh? I'll have you out of the house instantly. What makes you think you can do that? Oh, there's plenty of ways. I could always tell Anthony you had another argument with his mother. Perhaps you two had a fight over dinner, and now she's uncomfortable being around you. He told you about our arguments too, huh? He really is telling you everything. So yes, it would be pretty simple to get you out of there. Oh, I actually had a long talk with his mother yesterday. About what? Did you tell her you were sleeping with my husband and now you're pregnant because of him? Yeah, exactly. She seemed pretty happy that you'd be leaving the picture. <laughs> so it's about time we got the useless one out of the picture. I'm pregnant and you're not, so I take priority. I can't believe this. Oh, and don't bother packing, okay? I'll be keeping your clothes and whatnot. What? Well, you won't pay us, so I gotta get my money somehow. Consider it payment. I can't believe this. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. If the clothes are cute, I might use them. But I'll probably just sell most of it. <laughs> I'll send you the address of a nearby hotel you can stay at now. She seriously kicked me out. Just like that. Of course she'd choose me. I'm younger, smarter, more beautiful. Once you're completely gone, I will be marrying Anthony too. So now that you're pregnant, he's chosen you. He's going to live with you and you'll start a happy family together. That's what you two want? Exactly. There's no room for you here anymore. She never said anything to me about kicking me out. I just, I don't know what to say. Yeah, kind of sucks to be you right now. <laughs> you don't have any relatives, right? Guess you'll have to figure things out on your own. I'll be with Anthony. Luckily, we'll stay together forever with our children. <laughs> of course, he told you about my past, too. I'm not surprised at this point. Sounds like you had kind of a miserable life, uh huh? Not that it affects me at all. Go ahead and continue being all alone. That's a horrible thing to say. Hey, now, I'm not all bad. I packed a small suitcase of some stuff I don't need from you. I'll leave it outside. I'd suggest you sell it to afford a room for the night, but the rest of the stuff is still mine. Oh, and I'm still waiting for my money. Just knock it off already. Do not touch my stuff, you hear me? Your stuff? This is my stuff. It's mine now. Excuse me. When exactly are you planning on paying up? I'm waiting. I've been busy. I didn't even think about it, to be honest. Not that I'm going to pay it anyway, though. Oh, just stop being stubborn and give it to me. I'm not giving you any of your stuff until you pay me. You know that, right? But I'll consider returning some of it if you do. I'm literally completely out of money right now. Why don't you ask his mother, eh? Or is she too busy to pay attention to you, too? Do you not remember what we talked about? Are you so old you've already got Alzheimer's or something? Stop insulting me. I'm getting sick of it. Don't talk to me like that. Let me spell it out for you. I've already settled things. Everything's been put into place. And I'll be getting $24,000 from you. <laughs> what? As if. Nice try, though. I'm the victim here. Why would I have to pay you? <laughs> you seem to be mistaken, Ruby. I'm the victim here. Mm, but I'm the one carrying a baby. Did you forget that again, you old hag? You need to go to a retirement home or something. Your brain is failing you. I don't care about your baby. It doesn't change anything. What? 
It doesn't matter if you're a student. You're an adult and you're responsible for your own actions. It doesn't matter that you're pregnant either. It changes nothing. You knew he was married, but you still dated him. That makes you just as guilty as him. No, it doesn't. Legally in this state, I can sue you for this sort of thing. That's why I'm getting the money from both of you. Look, I can see you're bluffing. Stop trying to joke around to get out of this. I'm not joking around, but feel free to think that if it makes you feel better. I'll explain everything properly when we meet up in person. What? I'm not meaning you. But we already met. On the plane about five days ago. What? What's going on? I was in Hawaii at the same time as you. Wait, you were in Hawaii? I'm currently in the North Brandon parking garage. Huh? That's the parking lot near the hotel I'm in, right? Do you understand the situation now, Ruby? No. No, I really don't. What's going on? I'm scared. Are you following me? I told you already. I've made some preparations and everything is in place. That doesn't explain anything. I'm with Anthony's mother right now. We're outside in the parking garage. Oh? I told her everything that was going on. She played along so she could keep an eye on you two. And now we're here together. You're joking, right? What do you mean? Since you told her a lot, she knew the hotel you were staying at. She was nice enough to let me know the address. <laughs> Why did she tell you? I needed some proof of the affair in order to take it to court. I told you I was busy recently, no? For the past five days, I've been following you two around. You had no idea, huh? <laughs> I made sure to get plenty of pictures of all your dates. I took hundreds. But you said you were busy with work. I was. It was a lot of work for me. I had to follow you two around the city so much. And Anthony's mom lent me her good camera, which was pretty heavy. My arms are tired. Why would she do that? I thought she hated your guts. Nah, we're pretty close. She even told me she considers me her daughter. How sweet is that? But Anthony said you two were arguing a lot in the past. Oh, that. We just mess around a lot together. None of it was real fighting. Seriously? We're both pretty sarcastic and like to joke around. So while cooking, we usually joke around. We even throw things at each other and throw some insults every now and then. All in good fun, of course. So you guys weren't actually upset with each other then? Well, we tried not to do it in front of Anthony. He's always freaked out and thought we were being rude. I guess he must have caught us a couple of times and assumed the worst. Really? I can't believe this. So anyway, she's on my side. <laughs> you can't just follow me around like that. Isn't that stalking? You lied to get that evidence. Besides, I don't have any money. I'm not paying you anything. If that's what you want to think. I wonder how your mom and dad are reacting to this. I suppose they won't be too happy with you. My parents? Of course. Your parents know everything. What? Did you talk to them? I needed to know where you live and whatnot. So I had to find them and get that information. That way I can make you pay the money when the time comes. You can't do that. Oh God, you can't just tell them about this. How could you? They're super strict. They're going to be pissed. God knows what they'll do to me. I'm sure they'll cause quite a scene. Yes, they will. How did you plan on covering it up exactly? They'd find out on their own eventually. You can't hide being pregnant from them, right? I didn't think about it. I just decided to cross that bridge when I got there. I still had time to think. Huh, guess you're more of an idiot than I thought. <laughs> Don't call me an idiot. But you are one. You're just upset that I ruined your idiotic plan. Although I suppose it's good you're an idiot. That's how I was able to find out about this in the first place. So, thanks for that. <laughs> oh, shut up. Anyway, the four of us are going to come have a chat with you guys, all right? So, I'd prefer if you stay put and don't run off like a coward. Wait, four? 
Oh, I almost forgot. I brought your parents along, too. They wanted to come along, and I just couldn't say no. You're joking, right? Please tell me you're kidding. Just look outside and see for yourself. I don't want to look. I'm too scared. Your choice, I suppose. Don't bother trying to run. I don't think your parents would let it happen. So just sit tight and wait for us, okay? I'll wake him up. Anthony will know what to do. Wake him up? Is he seriously still sleeping? How much sleep does that man need? <laughs> well, we did a lot of stuff yesterday, so he's tired. Is that so? You're out doing a lot despite the pregnancy. I'm not that far along yet. I can still do things. Besides, I need to spend time with him to show him my love. And what will waking him up do exactly? I don't know, but he'll do something. He'll protect me. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Why not? He's a coward. The slightest stress and he'll run off. <laughs> so there's no way that he'd do that to me. Wait, what? I just got out of the bathroom and he's gone. Wait, really? He left? I was texting in the bathroom so I didn't wake him up. I guess he woke up or something without me hearing him. Ah, oh, well, I warned you. Are you kidding me? No way. Did he really just run away and leave me? Guess he really didn't want to see us. <laughs> I can't believe this. That's it. We're through. This is over. I'm not staying with someone who treats me like this. You can have your stupid man back. Oh, I'm not taking him back. And you're not leaving him either. What do you mean? You're going to marry him as you'd planned to, right? As soon as my divorce with him goes through anyway. No way! I'm not spending another second with that creep. He betrayed me. Then are you willing to be alone? Despite being a student and a soon-to-be single mother? You don't want his support? Perhaps you should calm down so you can think about this rationally. Rationally? Oh, I guess you're right in a way. If he supports me, I could raise my child properly. Well, that sounds nice in theory. Of course, you'll be expelled soon, so you don't have to worry about school at least. And Anthony will be fired. Fired? Yeah, it's a private university, right? They're pretty strict about stuff like that. They've got a reputation to uphold after all. But would they really fire him over this? And me too? They're going to expel me? Well, you've been skipping school constantly to be with him recently, no? I doubt you got the best grades right now either because of that. I'm surprised they haven't done it already. You're right. Oh my god. And Anthony has been slacking at his job too recently. He's been taking all his time off without asking. Well, yeah. He needed to get home so we could go out together. And now the both of you are having a secret affair as well. Once they hear that, it'll be over for you two. That sort of thing can ruin a school's image. They'll have to kick you to the curb in no time. No, they can't. Anyway, let's stop texting now. I'll be up there in a bit so we can all have a chat. See you soon. Wait, wait, no, 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 stop. Stop, don't come up here. Too late, I'm outside your room. Stop trying to run away and talk. It's time to face what you've done. How could you do this to me? You're a monster. It didn't take long for Ruby to give in and open the door. I think she finally accepted her fate. After that, Anthony's mother even managed to track him down. It didn't take long for our divorce to be settled and the two of us were finally rid of each other. Of course, he and his girl were forced to pay up for what they had done to me. Ruby married him as expected in order to help raise the kid. The little boy was raised in a safe home at least. He wasn't to blame, so it's good he will be taken care of. Both of their parents basically cut off contact with them completely. They were horrified with what they'd done and refused to help them. Anthony ended up getting a few different part-time jobs to support the three of them. Ruby also managed to get an at-home job so she could make some money on the side. So when she wasn't busy raising her kids, she was working. They managed to scrape enough together to survive through the both of their efforts. My life has definitely taken a turn for the better. Since my relationship with my ex-mother-in-law was so good, we decided to continue living together. 
She continues to treat me like her daughter, even. Now we can live together and joke around as much as we want. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content.